Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, this is the, or right now, we're doing the executive slash eagle archetype for the divine masculine or tantric man reading for May 2022. These House of the Man's readings are designed to give you insights on helping you to become a better you by giving you insights from the universe. These um, these tantric man readings are basically kind of like a metaphor to help you identify the attributes in a nature that define the distinction between a male and a female. The house of the man contains all of the possible masculine traits and any attributes that any man has ever lived. And the spirit of each man contains a composite of these spirits of every ancestors of that man going back 10,000 years. The physical side of all these physical attributes are stored in his DNA, and he can bring them forth, any one of them. Any male born today has the potential to manifest any trait that any man in his bloodline has possessed. And for this particular one, it is the ego. So how you're going to use this, you could either go to you say, hey, I need to work on this part and then just go to that particular reading. Or you can just really quick, you intuitively say, hey, this is the card I want to pull. And if you have pulled this one, then you are on the executive reading. And I'll just put these other way. And that is the one that we're on. So those are one of the two ways that you can do this. So for you, this reading, it came back in a form of a lesson to be learned. Okay. Um, let's say it's not guaranteed. Provided that you do the work. But it is about choices. Like we're making wrong choices. We should go left and we, sh we should go left and we went right. Right? It's about choices. Uh, about making the wrong choice. Okay? So the ego or the executive, its attribute or its archetype is to look forward and see the big picture. To plan ahead, to arrange steps break down things into projects, bite-sized pieces, do it in the phases or stages. So at the end, the design, desired design may be achieved. Now with an eagle archetype or an executive archetype, it imparts on a man the logical and cognitive abilities to forecast or project what they want into future reality to be. In addition, it gives them the attributes of the mind to execute the logistics, schedules, stages, and details of the plan or project or activity. In a word, this energy is reason. The ego energy is not just comprehension, but application of intelligence to solve a changing problem. The key point being the word change. What works today will not work tomorrow. The world is ever changing. And the ego knows that it is not enough to plan. Plans must be made knowing or estimating what the new landscape will be and what will the next situation will entail. This is in regards that gives every man an affinity to see patterns and cycles in life. The juvenile stage of the ego is a bean counter or clerk or bureaucrat. And his talent is limited and merely to analysis. For when fully developed, the ego or executive is a mastermind a utopian strategist, one who sees all possibilities and fashions from the raw potential, the best possible outcome, okay? So that is the idea of that. And so we're going into that. We're also going to talk about a few, um, a few couple of news items. One is a fantastic app that I think that everyone should have. The second thing is Coupling and Cowrie, new merch stop that came online. And the third thing, which I'll cover at the end of the reading, is the Juneteenth Challenge, hashtag Juneteenth Challenge. Hashtag Juneteenth pay it forward. So your executive proverb. So let's do the proverbs, right? So the theme is lessons to be learned. We made some bad choices. We can, it's like the thinking, like the choice to continuously go left versus right is kind of where I'm getting at with this reading. Okay. So for you, this is where the drum was first born. In the family, it is the youth that benefits. Love is born and dies in this Oju. And Evo to Oshun will bring a lot of sweetness into the family. Okay? Your next proverb is that in between. It didn't start off with Obara, but in the middle is Obara Meiji. And Obara is the king energy. The king does not lie. 
It is a very uh, business type energy, but it also deals with family, particularly the male family, like fathers and brothers, uh, relationships between brothers and brothers, brothers between fathers, you know, arguments, you know, uh, siblings, some of it is siblings. But what I'm picking up mainly for you is like the male energy in the family. Never mind. Forget that. But uh, what I did say, so forget the part where about mainly picking up male energy. But what it, I am saying is that between fathers, yeah, fathers and brother, or fathers and sons, relationship between brothers and brothers, not so much the family, not so much all family dynamics, but father, son, brother, brother. Okay. You need be knowledgeable about your finances. Act like everything you want and need is at your fingertips. Before you know it, it will be at your fingertips. Mm. That one. Is, so it's telling you to be increase your financial IQ. Okay. Act like you know how you fake it till you make it. That's what it's saying. Act like you want everything you want and need is at your fingertips, and before you know it, it will be because. That is the laws of the universe. As a man thinketh, so he is. As above, so below, so within, so without. That's what's what that is saying. And so the next one is um, the next one is don't ask for what you already know. Don't play dumb. Okay. Divine the riddle. Go to the feet of a room lot to see your destiny. What is that is saying is that stop asking for stuff you already know the answer to. Go to your spiritual professional if you need more help and clarification on the answers you don't. Because it, doing that, you will get insights on how to best go about staying on your destiny, staying on your path. Okay? Just throw in to make sure what pertains to you. Okay. It's talking about opening the roads to the ancestors. Be thorough in all your undertakings as life can take you on a roller coaster ride. Oba and Oganju are prevalent here. So those are your proverbs for today. So let's go into it. I'm going to change screens right now. Right. So for you, executive, your recommendation is to go to the ocean. Yamuja really wants to work with you. The deity that you or the Risha you're working with is Yamuja. Yamuja deals with emotional, emotional mothers, business, big business, doing things in systems, the systematic way, mental health. Where the whole was first done, like the initiating of things that happened for a long time. Like you'll be doing it this year, next year, the children will be doing it, your children's children will be doing it. You know, it, it is very, it is very, it can be very long type things, long and wide, whatever gets started here in the next two weeks. So for you, you have decisions where you should have went left when you should have went right, right? So we're trying to make it so you make decisions in the right way. And one of the recommendations is that you get a tantric table session. So I love when these type of things come out because it, it, it 
fully can express and experience what a Tantra session, a Tantra bodywork session can do for you insofar as breaking down emotional barriers, bringing up emotional uh, hurts and pains that have been buried away, unlocking hidden treasures, removing entities, epigenetic uh, straightening out. Just it, It's just good energy medicine. And for you, a tantric table session is ideal. If you cannot find one, just PM me. But there is a plethora. They have tantric, uh, black tantric groups here. Uh, I highly recommend that you look at the video, How to Choose a Tantric Coach on Coupling and Cowrie on a YouTube channel. Give you some ideas on what to look for for a good tantric coach. You can pee me if you do not cannot find one and want a personal recommendation. I would do, but you do need one. And you need a specific type of tantric coach. You need a tantric coach that is feminine and one who has her motherly energy on type. So if you if she ain't really, she can be fine, but she can be a, she got to be mama fine. You know what I'm saying? She can be insightful. But she has to have that motherly capability because that is what you need on the session. She also needs to burn a blue candle while you're doing your session. That's part one. Part two is that you need to get, uh, you need to go to the ocean. Okay. And this is very, and you need to take a shell with you to the ocean. The ocean is water. Water is an emotional element. It moves, it's deep, it can go fast, it can go slow, it can be crystal clear, it can be calm, it can be a storm. The ocean is the primordial water, which is what is a representation of Yamuja. She is a primordial feminine female Orisha slash deity. And what she is saying is that have him come to the ocean, bring a shell, cry into the shell, put all those hurts and pains into the shell and throw the shell into the ocean and I will take it. So the elemental that you're supposed to work with is water. You need a table session, right? You need it from somebody who has motherly energy and they need to use a blue candle. It also says that you go to the ocean, bring a shell, cry into the shell Put the shell into the ocean. Study Yamoja. That's what it says here. And then right here. Uh, there, 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 there we go. There we go. Okay, so that is it for you guys on this monthly reading. I want to recap on what this archetype entails and what it means for you. It is important to note that while a man has a tendency to be masculine, it doesn't mean that he will automatically follow the prescribed path. As an ego, you are a director of your house. You are in the guide, you are the guide through life, and you look out for everyone you care about. Their dreams are your dreams. By reason, your course is set, not emotion. If you are operating in a negative, your house is my way or the highway. The goals are your goals are secondary and often foolish. Respect my goals, my decisions, no matter how wrong they are. I may not be looking ahead, but you better not criticize my failures. That is it in a negative thing. So I hope this was helpful. May 2022 Eagle uh, Executive Archetype. And the last thing, ch uh, check out the Coupling and Cowrie's t-shirt shop. Also, um, the app, the Signal app. Let me know what you guys think. Give me feedback, like, share, and subscribe. And then also the Juneteenth Challenge, hashtag Juneteenth. Hashtag Juneteenth Pledge, hashtag Juneteenth Challenge, hashtag Juneteenth Pay It Forward. We know that slavery has caused such a negative uh, impact on our community and that we have given negative sweat equity to those who have not uh, returned in kind. And so a great way to, or in order to transmute, transmute this negative energy is to put some positive sweat equity in our community. So the hashtag Juneteenth challenge is for one year to volunteer into a, an organization or a group or form a group in your community that's geared specifically for helping your, your community for one year. Share it with us. Let us know what you're doing. Put hashtag Juneteenth, hashtag Juneteenth challenge, hashtag paying it forward. 
and celebrate the Juneteenth with us as we are doing what we do. I hope this was helpful. Executive Archetype Tantric Man for May 2022. I will see you next month. Take care. Bye.